Hello everyone, my name is Abdul. Today I'll show you how to find all the solution for the equation. So let's say we have an equation x square plus x equal 12. So we want to find all the solution for the x. So first thing we have to do is to take the constant on one side and make the uh, full equation equal 0. So this is going to be x square plus x. So we subtract 12 in this side. So this is going to be 0. And then we have to subtract 12 in this side. So this is going to be negative 12, which is this side is equal 0. So if you know, this is going to be like quadratic equation. Now, to order to, for, uh, order to solve for x, we can factor it out. We cannot just solve for x right, right here. So, this is x squared. We're going to have two parentheses, which is going to be equal to 0. So, that's mean we're going to have 1x in this side, 1x in this side. So, this is just easy because we have 1 in here. If we have a different number, it's going to be a little tricky. So, we, got, we have to find out like how many common factors we have for 12. Like 1 times 12 is 12, so 1 times uh, 2 times 6 is 12, and 3 times 4 is 12. But well, we need to know if we add and subtract, we're gonna get this 1 right here. This is 1 invisible right, right here. So, we no, this is going to be 4 and 3 because if we uh, 4 minus 3 is just 1x so this is going to be plus 1 is going to be plus 1 is minus because plus times minus is minus and biggest number we're going to put here and the smallest number we're going to put here because big, whatever we have signed from the biggest number when we add we're going to get the same sign so we need the positive signs so our two number will be 4 and 3. So 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 minus 3 is just x. So now it is simple because if one of them is equal to 0, so this is whole thing equals 0, so 0 equals 0, so it doesn't mean be nice. So we can say both of them is x plus 4 equals 0 and this one x minus 3 equals 0. So we, we just can solve for x right now. We subtract 4 in this side. Subtract 4 in this side. So this is going to be, this is gone. So x equal negative 4. And this is going to be, we add 3 in this side. We add 3 in this side. So this is just going to be x equal 3. So this is like our final answer, but you might see as your final answer is written as like x equal negative 4 or x equal 3. So this is, if you want to check, this is always right, you can just plug for x negative 4 or positive 3 in the original equation and you're gonna see this side is equal to this side so if you plug negative 4 in here so negative 4 square will give you positive 16 and uh, then if you substitute negative 4 for x here so 16 minus 4 is 12 so 12 is equal to 12 so 3 is right and then and for 3 you just can substitute like as same as before which means if you substitute 3 to here so it's 3 squared is equal 9 plus 3 is 12 12 is equal to 12 so our checkpoint is also work 